Look at how well hidden this place is. I can't think of a reason anyone would want to build a structure like this deep in the mountains. I feel something that doesn't belong here. I sense danger. Huh? We should proceed with caution. The Kujo clan descendant may well be in trouble. who stand in our way. I will have order. There is no escape. There's more. Now this. Ooh. The fairy. I Let's get down the pit. Boom! Inazuma shines eternal! My blade! I have to the fairy! Shine down! Finally, I have my lucky day! There's more! Illusion shattered! Vengeance will be mine! The fairy. Ah. Finally, I it's my lucky day. Order guide you. See no more. For Rex Lapis. Torn to oblivion. The fairy. Ah. Wind, hear me! Ha, boom. Uh, barely a s Shine down! Final cut! <clears throat> Absurd! Go and fly! To the fairy! No touching! My blade! Ha. Finally, I... Ha. No.
to the fairy. <laughs> What's one more, opponent? Stabilize! There is no escape! That won't work. <sighs> this is order! I swear by my sword! Fall before me! Now you shall perish! You win! Cut Come. down! Stay back. I will deal with this. Almighty Shogun! Shogun? What are you? Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan. Explain what is going on here. Oh, we're just discussing some minor issues that have cropped up in the Tenryo Commission recently. Really, it's nothing worth the almighty Shogun worrying about. And these minor issues warranted the secluded location and the hiring of Ronin and Kairagi to keep guard? Well, uh, uh, there's been a lot of turmoil lately. It was just out of security considerations, that's all. Silence. Descendant of the Kujo clan. Your turn. All right. I came here intending to negotiate, but it turned out all they were interested in was a written confession from the Kujo clan. A written confession? Yes. A statement acknowledging every crime committed by the Kujo clan since the inception of the Vision Hunt Decree, including all the recent misconduct. All factual statements, of course. Not a single one of them fabricated. I can't deny that. But it also emphasizes the Takatsukasa clan's achievements throughout the document, claiming they stood steadfast all along and fought back against the crisis. These are all falsehoods. Says who? Why, you two-faced... You're going back on everything you said! I'm just stating the facts. I'm sure the Almighty Shogun can discern the truth. All the Takatsukasa clan is trying to do is make themselves look good, so they'll be first in line to replace the Kujo clan. Why else would you push a false narrative in the written confession that paints your clan in a good light and try to make me sign it under duress? What are you talking about? You're not under duress, we're just negotiating here. You've completely changed your tune. I believe I now understand the situation. Don't listen to his nonsense. I'm sure you're well aware of the major failings of the Kujo clan. Surely you of everyone knows. Not a single word they say can be trusted. You are quite mistaken if you think your dispute is of any interest to me. Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan, you wish to become the new Tenryo commissioner. Do I understand this correctly? Uh, well, y yes, of course. It's the eternal pursuit of everyone in the Tenryo commission to offer our lives in service of the almighty Shogun. Then the situation is not as complicated as you seem to have made it. After all, I am the one who appoints the Tenryo commissioner. The process is quite simple. Anyone who can beat me in a duel becomes the new commissioner. Uh, sorry, a duel with the almighty Shogun? The first Tenryo commissioner demonstrated his will with the blade in his hand. That is why the title has been passed down within the Kujo clan ever since. If you want me to appoint a new clan, then naturally, there must first be a new duel. I, uh... Do you not know how to wield a blade? Or do you simply doubt your abilities on account of your advanced age and declining physical condition? Here you are talking about offering your life, and yet you are too afraid to face my blade. Uh... well... Well, never mind. What about one of you, then? Anyone who can defeat me, Takatsukasa or not, will be appointed the new Tenryo Commissioner. Uh, 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 uh. Does not a single person dare to face me? 
I... I will challenge you, Almighty Shokan. What? Descendant of the Kujo clan. Regrettably, even if you win against me, it cannot atone for the wrongs committed under the Kujo name. I realize that. I don't stand a chance of winning against you anyway. I know full well that the mistakes my father made ought to spell the end of the Kujo clan's legacy in the Tenryo Commission. Even when I was executing the Vision Hunt Decree, I had doubts about my father's decisions. I knew that what I was doing was wrong. But that was as far as I went. I doubted, and I ruminated. I understood the situation perfectly well, but I took no action, and I didn't save a single person. I accept the Kujo clan's decline as punishment for my deeds. I can't even say that I failed to prevent it. Because in order to fail, you have to have at least tried. To be brutally honest, for someone of your strength, there is nothing you could have done, even if you had tried. Yes. I'm too weak. My father ignores me. My elder brother can't help me. And I even need Ipe to set me straight at times. It's the way it's always been. But if nothing else, then right here, right now in the Kujo clan's final hours, it is I who represent the clan, like my father before me. His duties are now mine to perform. Just as the Shogun said, a forefather of mine once showed his will with his sword. Then please, let me, Kujo Kamachi, end the story of the Kujo clan in the same way that it began. This is my last chance to do something. This is patently meaningless. But I accept. Come forward. The Kujo clan's honor was forged with courage, tempered with integrity, and shines beyond life and death. Show me whether your blade can bear the weight of your name. Ready to learn, almighty Shogun. Another anomaly in eternity. Nevertheless, it appears that the Kujo honor still courses through your veins. Kujo Kamaji is wounded. Descendants of the Takatsukasa clan, it is your responsibility to take care of him. You may not have the courage to challenge me, but I trust that you are capable of attending to a small matter such as this. Yes, of course. I apologize. I'm sorry. So... So sorry. I had heard that the Kujo clan is no longer fit to shoulder the work of the Tenryo Commission. The search for a successor to the role of Tenryo Commissioner is indeed a matter of great urgency. However, following this duel, I have decided to postpone the Kujo clan's punishment for the time being. In the meantime, I expect the Takatsukasa clan to continue supporting the Kujo clan as before. 
As you instruct, so it shall be done. We would not dare question the almighty Shogun's will. Finally, if you still think you can copy the Fatui strategy of providing me with deceptive information to produce flaws in my judgment, you will see me appear once again as I have done today. Only next time, my blade will show no mercy. Understood. Thank you, Almighty Shogun, for your wisdom and mercy. That will do. I will have the Okuzumeshu continue the investigation from here. Come with me. Let's find a quiet place. There's something I want to talk about with you. to deal with the situation, you're just like the Shogun. So strict. Oh, you think so? I thought I was rather accommodating. If it had been the Shogun, she would have decapitated Kujo Kamaji without a second thought. I do believe he was prepared for that outcome. I could see it in his eyes. The Kujo clan has undergone a dramatic change from its glory days to its present decline. Kamaji is hardly a great heir to the Kujo name, but he has shown me how some things remain the same even as the world around them changes. I also have you to thank. The things we experienced out on the streets and the photo you took of me, they helped me come to this realization too. So what's next for the Kujo clan? Will they get to carry on being in charge of the Tenryo Commission? Not a chance. Even if their heir was someone who showed promise, their past mistakes cannot be erased. Still, I will give them a little more time. After all, they are not the only ones who have made mistakes. The Shogun does not make mistakes. She is incapable of doing so. But I, as A, would like to offer my apologies. I have much to contemplate in the days to come. But at least, I can now see the way ahead. I think I'll leave that to the Shogun. The greatest threat to eternity is still the erosion that comes with time. As I said, the Shogun has a robust system to protect her against modification. This is because I anticipated that I myself would change over time. But I've made up my mind. So I will do what needs to be done, no matter how difficult it is. Hmm. <laughs> this has certainly been a memorable series of events. Absolutely. You sorted out the Tenryo Commission, and the people in the city got to see a happy and healthy Shogun. All the awful rumors will disappear in no time. If you enjoyed your trip, we should get you out again sometime. No need. There's no place for such things in my life. Also, please stop making it sound as if I somehow need the company. Okay, I'm ready to head back now. My period of solitude will now continue, but it will not last too much longer. I will leave you humans to deal with any minor issues in the meantime. Considering a lot of what happened was pretty unexpected, things seem to have worked out surprisingly well in the end. The only thing left to do is return the past permit to Yaimiko.
did you know? Well then, you'll have to tell me all about it. <laughs> How amusing. The almighty Shogun goes downtown, and suddenly she's like a wide-eyed country girl trying to find her bearings in the big city. Marvelous. What a shame I didn't get to see it for myself. It's fine. She wouldn't mind. Really, she wouldn't. So, from what you were saying, it seems that she has finally begun to comprehend what form eternity should take? That's the most important outcome of this trip. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you'd make such great progress when I lent you the pass permit. Yeah, it seems like she's not gonna force everything to stay the same way anymore. To put it nicely, even deities indulge in wishful thinking. To put it more bluntly, there are things that even the Seven can't do when faced with something even more powerful than themselves. <laughs> Take a guess. Anyway, it sounds like you had a very pleasant trip and even had the chance to see A's less formal side. Next time you wish to see her, you can come and take the pass permit from me again. She would never admit to it, but she does, in fact, get quite lonely. What? But she said she doesn't need company. Because she is a god. It's not that gods don't need the company of others, just that the idea of a god having company seems indulgent to her. But you don't belong to this world. Perhaps you are just the company she needs. <laughs>